Next up, we take a virtual trip cross country one more time. We go from California back up to the New England area. Her original tunes like You See Me, Conviction, and others have been featured across all of our platforms, radio show, television, and otherwise. Very talented artist. She is heading into her senior year of high school. Abby was heading into her junior year. She's heading into her senior year. Please welcome Rachel DeLong here to the show. Rachel, how are you? Thanks for being here on Resident tonight. I'm doing lovely. I love hearing all the other acts. I- uh, it's not every day that you get to have people from like across the country, like hear them and like be able to do a concert together. So <laughs> thank it's you fantastic. for putting yeah. this together and thank you for hosting. Oh, anytime. It's my honor hosting all of you guys. And uh, we've asked a similar question. I'll ask you, how did your musical journey all start for you? Um, I started writing songs in fourth grade. Um, it was a form of like emotional processing if that makes sense a way for me to like try to take time and like pray and like sit down and try to make sense of what was going on and that turned into like a time where I can where I can pray and spend with God and so I started it it just became like a form of worship when I was when I was songwriting and then from that I've been it music runs in my family so I, my mom sings and my extended family sings. So I've always been singing from a young age. And I started performing out around five years ago as a, a contemporary Christian artist. So <laughs> tell us uh, what the first musical number you have for us there this evening there, Rachel. So this is um, a relatively new song called Part of Your Purpose. And yeah, um, I, I played it, I think, for the first time at the last Reds Room that I that I was at. I, I played the song for the first time, like debuted it. So that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's about finding like a, a big part of my message is is encouraging others, especially young girls like myself, to find their identity in God. And in this one, it was, I was specifically focused on focusing on trying to find your purpose and your belonging in God because you're called to be set apart and sometimes the world tries to isolate you in that way and tries to make you feel lonely but um finding your purpose and finding like unity in and comfort and knowing that that it's all a part of God's plan and that you're held in his arms is what really um was the inspiration for this song (laughs) Sometimes my head gets a little too loud Sometimes this voice gets a little too proud Oh, maybe that's too honest, should have been more cautious Baby, don't you know there's promise in this process Yeah, like I said, a little too loud But I'm part of your people, I'm part of your purpose I found To the arms of a saving grace, 
the trumpet blows and knocks down all the walls that surround his sons and daughters who bear his name who fight for silence and with praise when my head gets too loud my brother's voice calls me out to cross the Rachel DeLong right here on the Christian Media Spotlight to Red Night on Red's Room. So great to have you a part of Red's Room here tonight uh, there, Rachel, sharing your gifts and talents and uh, had a great opportunity to see you in action, of course, with Face Road back a number of months ago. Uh, just a lot of talent up there in that region. Uh, you certainly among them. You've had a busy last couple of, you know, great weeks. You were the winner of River Rock Music Festival's, uh, was it, music tournament type of Idolize the King stage. Yeah. What was that all like for you, just being a part of that? It was surreal. I loved every moment getting to meet the artists and play alongside just some amazing people that I have in my life. I, I had my worship team and we, and they backed me and we became a band for um, like my originals and stuff like that. And it's called main idolize the King. And it's like a battle of the bands. And there are like some very like familiar faces to like, I, I think I, I looked at like the lineup and I was like, everybody who's a part of the cap competition has played at cafe at the mill, I think. And that was like so cool. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> and um, but no, it was just it was outstanding. Uh just the community that was there as well as just the experience and getting to play on that on that big of a stage was I, I was so thankful. <laughs> what is the uh, second musical treat for us you have this evening? I'm gonna play um another relatively new song called called Offering. So <laughs> Demons would come to life That they were physical Something that I could fight I wish they sense they could live that way But I know my battles won When I lift them to sing your praise If I prayed for peace, then why do I feel war? 
Well, it's another chance for me to learn to rely on you more. My God, my God, victory is standing right beside me. So why should I feel? Why should? Rachel DeLong here on Red's Room. Nicely done. Yes, indeed. Um, we asked this question earlier from Abby Green. Your turn. Favorite subject in school? And uh, what's the, the balance between school and music like for you? Um, my favorite subject, I just finished up my AP Biology course. Loved it a lot. I, I love that. And I also took Honors Anatomy and Physiology both i just love science in general <laughs> um and when it comes to like school music balance it's really music is a form of self-care it, it, i i explained like my like songwriting process and like music is kind of like a form of self-care and i you always have to balance like your work and like self-care life so like it's it's kind of just me of course it's difficult i'm it's high school but um but i i find that it's it comes music brings a sense of peace that i need in my life so when i'm feeling over stressed out about school um i can just go to like songwriting or i can go to like playing music so i think it makes sense i think for a lot of singer songwriters it can be a bit healing and therapeutic in, in a lot of ways putting a lot of those you know words and and feelings into uh, into just wondrous songs it's amazing how god can use that in that regard um what is the next number that you've got for us here tonight well i just received a message that um josh requested you see me so um i think i better do you this my song you see me next <laughs> Here it is. You see me. That's how she made her, her debut on our program. Here it is. You see me. Little girl gonna grow up real fast from the weight of sin in the world's impact. But let her know God carries that load, that she's valued and loved and not on her own. 
Little boy stuck in the world's strife, falling even farther from the Father's love and grasp. Oh, let him know Jesus welcomes him home. God is known in love and trust is to show. You see me, you see me when I'm brought down, banged, and broken, when I'm blind in anxious moments. You see. mine was dead now alive oh my daughter searching for new life she found the water that will never run dry for the devil may have told you that you're not worth the fight but you're not his your mind won't the devil let his lies don't know you you're not Can't you see this love you're leaving? Your mind's in pieces. You can't help me, help me. Oh, me, oh, me. Oh, 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 oh. You see me, you see me. When I'm brought down, banged and broken. When I'm blind in anxious moments. You see me, you see me. You see me and you say to me, I know these trials the way in heavy, but I can hold them if you let me. Rachel DeLong, you see me right here on the uh, Reds Room here tonight on this Saturday night. Uh, that's uh, in large part, that song right there is how. We hooked up with you a little over a year ago. You've been such a blessing to our program as well. Um, you're continuing on in the midst of a pretty busy summer. Um, tell a lot of your fans and a lot of the viewers here on Red's Room what the next couple of months looks like and where we can find you amongst the many places and things you've got going on. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm playing. I, I'm I'm doing a gig with Ben Lane um, like next Friday. And I'm also doing Hope for Worcester on that Saturday, which is um, an outreach event in um, Millbury, Massachusetts. And um, then I'm doing the Sycamore Center in Ohio, which is like a youth, um, which is like a youth center that help that gives after school programs to like, like people in that area. So that kids are able to like have extra classes, like have food and, and, it, it's a really nice place, but that's in Ohio. And then um, I'm playing Soul Fest this year, and uh, that's August. Uh, it's it's the August sixth through wait fifth through seventh this year. So <laughs> that's fantastic. Got a lot going on this summer. A lot of doors opening musically for you. You have one more one more final number that you'd like to share with us this evening. Yeah. Um. So this is my newest song. And it's called Undeserving, so. <laughs> if I know that I'm enough for you, then I've got to be enough for me. Because this man who gave his life, he saw my sins, so said I'm worth the price. And now I'm on my knees. Begging Jesus, please, can you tell me, how can you still love me? Cause I'm on disobey, but you deserve me. I'm gonna give you all I am, all I have, until your kingdom come. I'm on disobey, but you deserve me. I'm gonna give you all I am, all I have, until you
I've been told to feel what I can't control But I found my peace when I lost it all This is not a life sin to lie for him For the one who paid it all Yeah, you paid it all I'm undeserving But you deserve all of me I'm gonna give you all I am All I have until you Come on!